All right, let's start with some breaking inputs which have just come in where, according to reports, Pakistan has violated ceasefire yet again at the line of control in Jammu and Kashmir. Now, the Pakistani army reportedly initiated unprovoked and indiscriminate firing from at least about 7 a.m. onwards Indian Standard Time along the line of control in the Krishna Ghati sector. The small arms automatics and also mortars were reportedly used by the Pakistani army. The Indian army is retaliating very strongly and effectively and proportionately to the unprovoked ceasefire violation. All right, now for more on this, we are joined in by my colleague Khalid Shah from Srinagar. Khalid, what's the latest on the story? Uh, well, yes, after a brief lull on the line of control, uh, once again, uh, ceasefire violations happening along the line of control. Uh, today morning at 7 a.m. is when the ceasefire violations started from the Pakistani sites. Uh, small arms and mortar shells were in fact used uh, in this is for violation. Uh, the Indian Army telling us that they are uh, retaliating effectively and uh, responding to the ceasefire violation uh, which happened from the Pakistani side. We had seen in last few weeks there was a relatively uh, calm atmosphere along the line of control where the ceasefire violations had ended and now uh, today once again Pakistan is violating the ceasefire violation. Right, and do we have any information of any casualties that may have taken place Khalid? Uh, so far, there is no report of any injury or a casualty along the line of control uh, from uh, the police sources or the district administration. Uh, but yes, they're saying that they will be keeping a close watch on the situation as it unfolds in the areas. Uh, this uh, ceasefire violation is not uh, really uh, big in that manner as we have seen mm -hmm. previously, the kind of ceasefire violations that are happening along the line of control. Uh, so far, the situation seems to be under control, but we'll have to wait and watch uh, till uh, more uh, details trickle in. All right, and also considering the fact that just a couple of days ago there was this massive uh, crackdown on terror elements in which almost about 12 terrorists were gunned, gunned down, and generally Pakistan resorts to ceasefire violations more as cover fire for infiltrators to actually slip through. Is this something which the army suspects that the Pakistanis are trying to infiltrate into India? Uh, so far there is no confirmation regarding that whether... It was indeed a cover fire for the infiltration bid. Uh, but yes, we do have uh, uh, reports coming in uh, which quote the intelligence agencies saying that there are a lot of uh, terrorists who are waiting on the other side of the line of control, uh, waiting to sneak inside. And also to mention here is that uh, the weather is now relatively uh, warmer on the line of control. The snow is melting. Uh, mm -hmm. Perhaps this is the best time uh, for the Pakistani forces uh, to push a terrorist into the line of control. Uh, just a few days back, the army sources also said that uh, this uh, would be very crucial as far as the infiltration is concerned because this is usually the time when the most number of infiltration bits happen. So clearly, we'll have to wait uh, for a confirmation from the army side. Uh, but yes, this is uh, the time that is indeed a very ripe right. of infiltration bits from the Pakistani side. Right. We'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed, Khalid Shah, for joining us from Srinagar and getting us those inputs.